and pioneered at Providence Hospital in Southfield is helping to reduce some of the hazards of surgery. Here to tell us more about it is our science editor, Jerry Hodak, with tonight's Medical Matters Report. Jerry? Doris, this is an instrument that could make a number of delicate operations much easier for the surgeon and far less risky for the patient. Right now, it's being used primarily to help doctors remove a common type of brain tumor. No, that familiar sound is not signaling a doctor to call his office. Rather, it's warning a surgeon that he's in danger of injuring a critical nerve in his patient's brain. The device is making surgery much safer for people like David Wojciechowski. Well, I woke up one morning and my right ear had a high-pitched ringing. Tests eventually revealed that David Wojciechowski had a non-cancerous tumor growing inside his inner ear. It was on his right side and had already begun to press on his brain. The technical name for it is acoustic neuroma. But I couldn't pick up any distinct sounds. I, I couldn't even use it on, um, on the phone. The tumor was actually taking root and growing around three vital nerves that affected David's face, balance, and hearing. Removing the tumor could cause irreparable damage to one or all three. Depending upon the involvement of tumor to the facial nerve can be varying degrees of injury to the nerve. And it's the goal of the surgeon to try and reduce the amount of injury while peeling the tumor away. Here's what can happen if the facial nerve is damaged. Muscles in the eye and face become paralyzed. Speech and swallowing are difficult, and there's a risk of blindness. That's what this revolutionary new device was designed to prevent. Before surgery, tiny needle electrodes are placed into facial muscles in several spots. These, in turn, are connected to the monitor, which is actually a mini-computer. Whenever the surgeon touches, pushes, or pulls on the facial nerve, the monitor begins to sound an alarm. When this happens, the surgeon knows to proceed more cautiously or move on to other parts of the tumor. Dr. Jack Cartouche of the Michigan Ear Institute is one of the co-developers of this early warning device. The other is Dr. Malcolm Graham, who says he was resistant to the idea of the monitor at first, but now wouldn't operate without it. It just gives you constant awareness of what you're doing. It's really real-time feedback as to where you are and how you're doing. Absolutely. Using the new monitor, Dr. Cartouche was able to remove the tumor from David Wojciechowski's inner ear without injury to his facial nerve. The hearing and balance nerves were affected, however. I'm about 95% of my balance back. I could perform any functions I did before. I just can't hear my right ear. None of these devices that are just being developed are perfect, but devices like this do help reduce the risk of facial nerve paralysis. It's believed that this new monitoring technique can be adapted for use in a wide variety of operations, and in the future it may play a significant role in reducing the risks of surgery to the thyroid, heart, and spinal cord. Optimism. Thanks, Jerry.